welcome back. Welcome to my channel. I am about to read the cards for you. This reading is for the full moon in Capricorn. It's a blue moon, the buck moon. It's peaking on Sunday, Sunday morning, um, Eastern Standard Time at 6.17 a.m. That's July 21st. Sorry. And uh, while that will be the peak of the full moon, um, you'll be able to feel its energies and work with its magic for a few days the day before the day after the moon will still be in its full bright shiny strength and power for you know the full day before day after that you can use these um, practices that I'm going to be talking about so this is a special time a special moment um, in the uh, when we're working with moon manifestation it's it's the blue moon it's a rare opportunity for us and this is the full moon so the position of the Sun and the moon and the earth all in alignment the Sun's light bathing the moon and the moon showering those energies upon the whole earth the Sun is like the father the masculine energy the moon is the mother, Luna, the female, the feminine energy. And the two coming together in these signs at this time is like Capricorn Sun, I mean, I'm sorry, Capricorn Moon and Cancer Sun. It's like the, the male and female energies are intertwining and combining to produce something something amazing for us and of course our own thoughts and our own energies affect our own manifestations in many ways and so it's really important for us as a collective or as many people as possible to stay especially positive during this time so that whatever we produce is going to be more beautiful more calming more abundant for everyone and so please keep in mind at all times of course to keep our energies and our positivity as high our vibes as high as we can but this perhaps is a very significant time in a way that it gives us more power those energies from the Sun and the moon combining showering on the earth is a is a vibration and a frequency for us to all you know it, whatever we're dealing with whatever we're feeling at this time is going to be amplified and a blue moon period is about two and a half year period so that's a long time for whatever we're working on now concentrating on now to manifest okay so the moon is like the mother and the full moon is like the middle of our journey through life. She's reaching the highest potential and creating something that will leave our mark on this world, creating our legacy. The mother can represent having children, of course, but it could also be and it may not be having physical children, but also giving birth to an idea creating art, starting a business, or just creating a life that one enjoys. This is a chance. Every full moon period, every full moon is a chance to remind us to step into our power with courage and intention. The full moon is the most powerful of all lunar phases. It's the time to harvest the fruits of your endeavors and complete the plans that you've made during the new moon. And while we can set intentions for the new moon to occur, to come to fruition during the full moon within a couple weeks, in all um, the way it works uh, more specifically is for a six month period. Today, or at this time we're 
working with Capricorn moon, which is full because it's opposite of the sun, which is in Cancer. And those are on an axis, Cancer and Capricorn, that work together, male and female, mother, father. And they, um, so when the, the new moon in Capricorn occurred last winter, we are now six months later to the full moon in Capricorn. And the full moon in Capricorn is going to bring together the completion of what you had planned six months ago with the new moon in Capricorn. So this is a magical time for us each month to develop our spiritual selves and renew our energies. As I was saying before, a day or two before and after the peak of the full moon is a good time for uh, doing the rituals that are great to do during the full moon period. Um, those rituals include making moon water, taking a jar, a glass jar of water, and setting it out into the moonlight overnight, perhaps adding, if you want, wish, a crystal like this quartz, which would be totally safe in the water. You would want to put safe crystals in the water. Um, but if you wanted to do this, and these are the kind, this is the kind of crystal that amplifies energy, the quartz crystals. You might want to put that in your water. And then you can use that moon water the next day. It'll be complete. And so you, you'll take it out. You can use it. You can sip it. You can ingest the, um, the energies. Or you can put it in your bath. You can water your plants with it, your garden. It's special, but it is a special. You can cleanse objects with it. It's your moon, your moon water will have the energy of that of the intentions that you set in it and the full energy of that moon light charged fully by the sun. So this is this is the energy that you'll be imbuing into the water. You can also charge your crystals in stones during this time. Every month I charge all of my crystals in the, um, in the moon, under the full moon, in order to keep them vibrant and energetic. You can take a moon bath. You can soak in the salts or um, maybe even add your moon water to the moon bath. Um, another interesting uh, ritual during this time for manifesting abundance is using your windowsill that captures the light of the moon and you can place money there or a coin a wallet or your bank card put it on this windowsill and uh, let the moon charge that up give you more energy give your money more energy more power this is a Capricorn moon. It's about it's about manifesting and developing and working for, you know, the work that you do, producing something, you know, abundant and tangible. Another thing to remember during this time is that charity is especially blessed at this time. It, you should think about giving someone or or some uh, organization some of your money, time, energy. And whatever you give out during this time will come back to you even stronger than at other times. This is a very good time for charity. It's also a good time to gather with women. The full moon, uh, the moon itself, uh, through her phases, symbolizes the life of the woman. The maiden at the new moon, the full moon is the mother, and then at the waning moon in is the crone and she she is uh, developing into um, um, her wisdom and her uh, she's honing her she's passing her skills I'm, I'm sorry on to the younger ones and she's transitioning into a new phase which will be into the new moon a new life our death and rebirth and so the moon uh, gathering with women at this time is traditional. And so uh, women like to gather uh, to share, to laugh, love, dance, sing, um, create things, art, music. 
it's a beautiful time for that. And as I said before, we are in the Capricorn moon. This is a time to release control and trust the universe. Capricorn moon is a very strong, Capricorn itself, a very strong worth, work ethic and energy. To, it's a good to be reminded to move through any feelings of hopelessness that you might ha feel at this time. And the way to cope with that would be to make plans. Making a plan is a far better use of your time than hopelessness. Those born under the Capricorn moon, you'll be feeling these energies even more strongly. They need to learn uh, to take care of themselves instead of working themselves to exhaustion. Those born under the Capricorn moon are emotionally self-reliant. They feel best when they are in control of a situation or accomplishing tasks. The Capricorns are the workhorses um, of the Zodiac. The full moon in Capricorn, the buck moon. You must work harder to finish what you started six months ago. That's what this moon is calling for us to do. This is not the time to settle for no, but to tackle obstacles once and for all. This is also a sign that the end of a tough cycle is approaching. So you've been through a lot, you've been working hard, especially if you've been working on something, on an intention that you set, uh, set for yourself six months ago during the new moon in Capricorn. But this full moon cycle is, is signaling that this is the end of the tough cycle. Okay, so we are getting to the end of this. Ask yourself, how hard are you willing to work for what you want? Effort is required. Um, work issues may come up at this time. Uh, the end of a rough time is forecast at this time. Consider how ambitious you are and whether you are prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. In love, this can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation that you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. Okay? Okay, and as I said, um, the blue moon, this is a blue moon. So every two and a half years, two full moons occur in the same month or the same sign. And that's what we're experiencing here. We had a, a Capricorn full moon at the very beginning of Cancer season. And this full moon in Capricorn will occur at the very end of Capricorn season, entering into Leo season, which is represented by the sun. So this is a, a particularly poignant moment because the, the moon is ruled by Cancer, or Cancer is ruled by the moon, I should say, and Leo is ruled by the sun. And on this day of this particular Capricorn moon, full moon, this particular buck moon, this particular blue moon will also be igniting the energies of both Cancer and Leo at the same time. They'll be merging together basically at this time because we're going to be so far into Cancer season and so close to that to Leo season and that's another exciting point about this particular blue moon because it's it's our soul and our emotions our mother and our father coming together our divine parents coming together and creating this magical time okay it's 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 very exciting to me um it's a super every blue moon because it's so rare it's so it's like the moon got got a double dose of Capricorn energy, okay? So we, we already had our dose of Capricorn energy at the last full moon, and here we are getting another full dose of Capricorn sun onto the moon. And so it's a supercharged full moon, 
every full moon is a very powerful time but the blue moon is extremely power it's supercharged it gives off a much higher energy and frequency than the regular full moon so don't let this time go to waste as you create some serious magic now as i was saying generally the full moon is a culmination um, of what was began what began six months ago but that doesn't mean that you don't have magic right now we're going to talk about that when we get into our reading okay and so you can use this tarot reading and any other uh, signs and messages that you get from the universe as a way to solidify your intentions and help you to create the intentions that work best for you. I would also advise to look at where Capricorn is in your natal chart, what house it's in. Look at um, where Leo and Cancer fall in your natal chart as well. Try to work with those houses to formulate an intention. And because the power, the, the full moon is so powerful, it is possible that during this moment your intentions that seemed far-fetched or too hard to believe to come true those could be this could be this magic moment that you need to to create the miracle to to feel that miracle to actually witness something rare to take place for you and so let me uh, explain um, this is a positive sign this um, this blue moon is if you've ever felt like you were asking too much of the universe whatever you are asking about well it might only happen once in a blue moon but it can happen it is important that you believe in it if you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never happen then guess what it won't happen so just be grateful for this moment that we have and remember to believe in your dreams, okay? It's, it's not impossible. Okay, so I wanna thank you for joining me. We're getting, we're getting ready to do some readings for you. I'm gonna have a special reading for you to, um, to help you to understand this full moon energy and how to work with it in order to make your dreams come true. So let's get into it. Thank you. Hello, Gemini. It's great to be back again to uh, get with you. And let's look at the energies that the full moon in Capricorn, this blue moon, have for us today. Um, we're going to check into all of that very shortly. Uh, we're going to do a full moon spread. We're going to look at how far we've come in the last six months since that new moon in Capricorn. And we are going to uh, also learn more about what we should be releasing, what would be good for us to release at this time. All right, let's look into this. Um, okay, we'll start with hit these. Okay. All right, Gemini. All right. Okay, this first card here is going to tell us what we have created since the new moon and we have the ace of pentacles okay we have created a new opportunity or a new opportunity is available to us since the new moon or now um, this is a pretty beautiful way to start we've got prosperity in our future here if we take advantage of this um, this pinnacle this new opportunity that spirit is handing to us right now it's very beautiful very exciting okay um, the next card is where are you now okay spirit says you're here at the two of wands point where you are um, planning planning ahead looking into your future you are looking at this the whole world as your oyster you know you have uh, you're at this you're inspired by something and you are ready to make you're making plans and you're ready to take the first few steps in this uh, long range adventure it looks like so you have a very beautiful uh you're at a, a beautiful point where it's the the beginning of, of something very creative something very um fulfilling here 
very beautiful. I love this so far. And um, what are you to become aware of at this time? What should you become aware of? Oh, wow, the fool. Oh, wow. You have beautiful, beautiful energy here. Look at this energy. You are so carefree. You are you are innocent and pure. You are, you've been through a whole cycle and you are starting fresh and you are ready to take the leap of faith knowing that spirit has your back. Spirit's going to catch you if you fall. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, it's such a beautiful, sunny hopeful, optimistic place to be. And this is per beautiful at this energy. It's the beginning. Look, the beginning of something. And uh, so Spirit's saying, you know, it's, it's, you need to be aware of this pos position here that you're in. It's, it's incredible. It's something you've earned as a brand new, fresh start with a childlike uh, optimism and enthusiasm. So, so pretty. So, I'm going to go ahead and clarify each of the cards so that we can get even a better picture of everything. And so, Spirit, please help us with this. Help us to understand more about this fresh start, this new beginning for Gemini. What's going on here? So we have the first... Oh, there's two cards here. I'm going to... So that's not working out. I'm going to... Put them back in. If anything's supposed to come out, it'll come out again, I, I'm sure. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, for Gemini. I'm, I'm called to shuffle in a different way. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, Gemini. Here we go. So that Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Wands. Oh, look at that. We got it twice. Believe in your personal power. Know that you, you've got this, okay? Um, decisions and planning and first steps here. This is just, just thrilling to me. I, I love this confirmation here. The uh, Two of Wands, again, is... Uh, is uh, clarified by the Ace of Swords. Another Ace. Oh my goodness, Gemini. So exciting. So with the Ace of Swords, you have a breakthrough coming. You're planning. You're you're looking forward. You're, you're believing in your personal power. Okay. And you're taking your first steps. And this card says to speak your mind to solve your problems. But it also brings out that there is a breakthrough, an insight and a clarity of an ideas coming towards you. Your second ace. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful, what a, it's like a positive, positive, like a, a big yes from the universe. Yes, yes, yes. You can do this. Yes, you're going for it. And yes, you, uh, you have this at uh, spirit is with you, obviously. So, oh wow. I, I can't wait. Okay. The, the, the fool here is clarified by the hanged man okay and the hanged man is saying that we should look at the world from a different perspective okay and i think this is maybe the perspective that the hanged man wants you to look at um the fool be this look at the things from this point of view i, I believe that's what we're saying this is what the card is saying it's not necessarily saying that this is where you are now, but this is where the way to look at this opportunity. Be the fool. Know that. Know that you, you are starting fresh. You're innocent. You're free from all past um, baggage. You know, you don't have that. You have your tools for going forward. You have everything you need. Spirit is providing everything you need. You have already been through some cycles okay at least one great big cycle you went through that period and now you're in you're starting fresh with the experience and um but yet also embracing this fresh new childlike um wonderment for what's to come and knowing like you know you can take a leap of faith you can jump off that cliff and nothing's going to hurt you Nothing's going to hurt you because spirit will take care of you. And so I believe that this hanged man, I mean, it could also mean that you want that you want to take time and, you know, look, you know, really go inside yourself, really, you know, allow yourself to think more, 
But what I really believe this card is saying is to look at the world from a different perspective. And I believe this is the perspective that we're supposed to be looking at right now. Okay. Just embody this spirit right here while you're starting fresh, while you're doing new things and have this new opportunity here and breakthroughs. And you're, you're at this point of, look, you are double, double, double. You are at the two of wands where, you know, you have boldness and, and you have balance and you are taking your first steps and making your choices for the future. You're making your decisions about your, um, you know, with clarity and your, your opportunity is just wild. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really feeling that the new perspective is this, the different perspective is this. If you've, if you thought of your opportunity as something more, um, more of a, of a work, 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 or, uh, like things are going to be the, are things going to be the same they, as they used to be? No, they're not. Things are not going to be the same as they used to be. They're more like, um, they're, they're just a fresh start, a childlike energy. Okay. So when it comes to what we need to release, that's what we're going to look at on this row. So the first card is going to tell us what is it time for you to surrender? And it looks to me like, this is the time to surrender to the universe, surrender to this, uh, this will of fortune that you're embracing at this time. Uh, this card is represented, uh, is represents also the planet Jupiter and Jupiter is in your sign now. And we are, you are, um, turning over from this before this card, was the end of the cycle, you know, the world. And the world is now flipping over into this new period for you where you are to take on this perspective and be the fool and be enthusiastic. And like a child who hasn't, um, who isn't yet burdened by the, um, the, the things that the world throws at them, you know, they, they have, they have, this natural optimism because everything's new to them. And so this is what's going to happen with you. Remember when you have the will of fortune, the, the, the cycle is changing. You're going into a new cycle, but whether or not that new cycle is going to be good or positive for you, or is going to be like the same old stuff that you've been through, it's going to depend on those vibrations. You see that that snake represents the vibrations that you carry into the new cycle. So just stay optimistic stay positive, look at things, um, with love, treat everything, you know, use your, um, your experiences from the last cycle to help you to the, the education that you've gone as a gone through as a soul here on this planet to, um, start this new cycle with the highest vibration that you can. And with this new understanding, uh, that you have, uh, because of all of the things that you have been through. And now, now it's your time to start over, to start fresh. And that's very exciting. So this next card is going to say, how can you let go? How can you truly surrender to the universe here at this time? Let's see what the card says. Okay. I think the card is saying, uh, the four of pentacles here is saying that, uh, don't hold on too tightly. Okay. Um, feel secure. Know that you have everything you need. You're, you, you can have the security that you crave, that you need, that you desire, that you deserve. But don't hold on so tightly, okay? Go ahead and, you know, release something, you know, surrender to the universe. Allow the universe to open up these more pinnacles to you. Um, so, yeah, the, you know, the... Uh, the, we're going to get some clarifiers here, but I'm feeling now that the universe is saying, let go a little bit more. Okay. Let go of whatever is making you feel like you've got to clutch tightly to something. Um, yeah. 
So let's go ahead and see. The last card here is what resources are supporting you as you release. Okay, and here you have the uh, Ten of Swords. And like I said before, um, I feel like you've been through something already and it's starting, you're starting over fresh with like fresh new eyes, uh, a brand new cycle. So what we have here is this Ten of Swords that's telling you, you've already been through this. The The painful time is over. You're, you're, that's the past and you see the man holding the the position of his hand here he has a blessing he's been given a blessing because all of this painful times that you've been through this hurtful past it's over this is the end the that's over so remember that that's your resource is knowing that you have overcome this you're not here anymore this is the past. This is, um, you're going forward. You're being reborn with a, with a blessing. You have a blessing here for the new, the new life. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify these. All right, see what more Spirit has to add to this picture that we can, you know, use for our own good for Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune in the uh, release position is clarified by the moon. Okay. The moon. Be careful of seeing things that are not there. So, um, just because, you, you know, you're going into this new cycle here. You need to make, you know, keep in mind that you don't know, you can't really see what's happening. You can't really, you, you can't predict what's going to happen in the future. You don't know, you know, exactly where you're going, but you do have your intuition to guide you. You have uh, your subconscious to guide you and you don't, um, you know, there, there's some mystery involved here and some, um, you know, we, we, we just don't know what we're going to face, obviously. Um, but we're move we can move forward with, we are moving forward, but we, we can let go of the fear of this unknown and move forward with our intuition. That's what's guiding us. The moon, the moon is emotions and, and our intuition and allow the moon to guide you. You know, um, I've been working on this moon manifestation uh, process as well. And that's helping me also to move forward to, to use the phases of the moon to help me to, to guide me along. And so I don't know if that's something that, you know, you can also keep in mind as well. But basically for, for everyone, this card is telling me, that you know re surrender to the universe and let go release the fear and the doubt that you might feel when you can't see the future and you don't know where you're going exactly yet you know you're like this two of wands you're 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 thinking and planning ahead for your path uh, but you can't plan for everything and you're going to run into things that you didn't expect but it's all going to be good because you're going to get through these towers. You're going to go through. You're going to make your path. You're going to go and you're going to move forward into this new cycle of life. Okay. So the next uh, position is how, how to let go of what, of those fears and doubts and things. And that four of pentacles is clarified by the fool. Okay. Obviously, look at this. Another repeat. Another beautiful, beautiful confirmation. You're going to let go because, like I said, this Four of Pentacles energy is the way you let go of this is to literally let go. You know, he's holding on so tight to the Pentacles that he already has that he's not see not involving this full energy of being free and letting go and taking risks and the leap of faith. Um, 
spread your wings and fly, says the fool. Have anticipation, curiosity, you know. Um, obviously, this, this guy here is, um, you know, this is how you're going to do it. This is how you're going to let go and start this new cycle is with the full energy. Clearly, wow, this is wow. This is so cool to me to see these readings come together so beautifully. So yeah, the new perspective, be the fool right now. That's how you're going to release everything else is by being the fool, being curious, being like that child. But you, but just like this Ten of Swords, you've already been through cycles before. You know so much more than when you actually physically became came into this world as a baby. You went through so many years of, of um, pain and betrayal and learning hard, harsh, painful lessons. But now you're starting fresh. You got the new will of fortune. You're starting fresh and you are in such a great position now. Wow. Okay. All right. So this 10 of swords is clarified by the seven of swords. Okay. All right. So going forward, this is the resources that you're given here. Resources to support you are the seven of swords, the 10 of swords, that's 17 swords, um, an eight, an eight of swords. Okay. But whatever we're looking at guarding against deceit and concealment. So these lessons, these lessons that taught you in the past life, okay, in that past cycle, the lessons that taught you to are, are teaching you now. That's going to prepare you and give you this resource here, this mastery that you have now. You have this uh, under your belt, so now you can go forward by, you can detect more easily deceit and concealment, not only in others, but also in yourself. Okay. Remember that we have to be aware not only of, you know, it's a lot easier for us to be honest with others than it is with our own selves sometimes. And that reminds me of this moon card too. You know, you, it's easy to, to see things that are not there. Uh, the, the message on the card says, be careful of seeing things that are not there. And that can also goes right along with this to guard against that uh, self-deception. Okay. Um, the illusions. Um, so, but, but you have these lessons and these are resources. This is in the position of resources. So you already know what to look for. You already know how to find that in yourself or in other people so that you don't get tricked or hurt as easily anymore. And, uh, another thing that this card brings up is uh, strategy. You know, when you're when you're making these plans here, you know, you can use strategy in your planning and you have this uh, logic and power and clarity and breakthrough and ideas here coming. So you have everything you need. You have the tools that spirit gives you. You have the protection that spirit gives you when you take the leap of faith. You have this experience painful experience that has now, you, you're not even seeing it in a painful way. You know that it's a blessing because you've made it through. You have a brand new start here. You have the knowledge, the forewarning now to look, uh, to use your intuition, to use your experience, to guard against deceit and concealment within yourself or other people. So you have so much going for you right now. This is a brand new start for you, Gemini. And it's, it's very exciting to see. Now, this being said, that's a pretty cool, complete picture. I'm going to go ahead and use the spirit animal gar cards. They're going to guide us a little bit further in this. They're going to give us some more specific advice and how to deal with all of these changes, all of this release, all of this new start, and some more advice for Gemini. Please, thank you. Okay. Oops, sorry. That's three cards for Gemini. Shuffle. All right, here we go. Okay. The first one the Spirit gives you is passion. Look. 
The dragon is a reminder of your strong will and fiery personality. It is also a symbol of passion and fire. You are being asked to practice self-control and be cautious so that your passion does not lead you into trouble. Okay, so here we go. This is a little good advice for um, the uh, passion that you have. You know that you can believe in your personal power. Your personal power is that passion, your strong will. Um, but, you know, while you're in this full stage, uh, you know, it's care is needed. You know, you, just because you are taking a leap of faith and you know spirit has your back, just go ahead and also use your, you know, logic to, um, to uh, and your experience, of course, also to make good decisions. And to not let your passion to take you uh, in a place that you don't want to be. Or, <coughs> excuse me. The next one, transition, frog. This is a powerful time of change. You are being called to connect with the world of emotions and feminine energies. You may also need to engage a process of cleansing, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, or energetic. Okay, Gemini, so while you are into this stepping out of the old and into the new world and stepping into this new life here, uh, now it seems like a good time <clears throat> for uh, cleansing yourself, you know, doing what you can to um, uh, remove, you know, detoxify, uh, you know, give yourself time to deal with your emotions and your your energies as well, you know, meditating, um, you know, listening to some, um, some spiritual type of musics, uh, sounds, things like that, things that will cleanse your, your, uh, spirit and your physical and emotional body as well. All right, let's look at that last one. Hedgehog trust. This is a reminder that even if you feel that others do not understand you or get what you are doing, it is no excuse to curl up and hide. Sure, you may need a little bit of space right now, but the world needs your gifts. You are more than worthy. Okay? All right. Well, okay, that does it for this part of the reading, Gemini. I hope that you got something out of that, something good, something helpful. Um, I believe it was a pretty amazing reading for uh especially getting all these doubles double the double 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 and such a powerful message you know so i'm going to go ahead and move forward with the um the next part of the reading the <clears throat> bonus reading and since we are still we are having we are celebrating a Capricorn full moon, the blue moon in Capricorn. This is, I thought it would be good to go ahead and repeat the, um, the career and career and life Oracle, uh, but for this bonus reading, I think in the future, I'm going to be doing love readings, uh, love oracles, but for now I'm going to stick with this career in honor of the Capricorn who is very career oriented. And let's see what spirit has to for you uh, about your career situations. Okay. Here we go. All right, Gemini. Let's see. On the table. Time to put your demands on the table and get serious about what you want. Ask for a raise, a promotion, or a step up. Okay. If you feel called to uh, do that, that. That could be some good advice for you. Okay, let's look at drama. Beware of troublemakers in the workplace. The job you may you want may have too much upheaval to bear. Keep emotions and gossip in check. All right. And what next? We have real passion. Stop wasting time in dead-end jobs and find your true passion. It's fine to experiment, but don't settle for less than you truly deserve. Okay. Reminds me of this hedgehog too. Um, sure, you may need a little space right now, but the world needs your gifts and you are more than worthy. So um, go for the real passion, Gemini. This is your fresh start. So, you know, don't do anything so drastic like the fool of just jumping off and 
maybe quitting your job without preparation, <laughs> like the two of wands would be preparing for that. Um, but, you know, definitely a good time to consider going for something that really fires you up, like that dragon says, something that, that gives you fiery, you know, that fuels your passion here. And, uh, but as it says, uh, be cautious so that your passion does not lead you into trouble. Like I was saying, you know, think about this, plan for this, um, you know, take the, the steps that you need, uh, believing in your power, your personal power, your personal passion, you know, uh, taking those first steps and planning, but, um, you know, doing it cautiously, but doing it, you know, doing it, going for it. Okay. All right. I hope that that was uh, good for you. I, I feel really good about that reading myself. I really enjoyed doing that as well. I wanted to add that if you uh, would like to, you can go go back to the, uh, the intro of this where we're talking about the moon cycle here. And I had on the table some crystals there were six different types of crystals there. If you can guess those and put them in the comment section, then I will provide, I will find the, uh, those who get all six correct will get a free crystal from me. If they, if no one gets those correct, then whoever comes the closest will get a free crystal. Um, so I wanted to also add, there's a little hint to that. The hint is that those crystals do apply to the signs of Capricorn and Cancer. Um, so uh, that's a little incentive for you to uh, uh, participate in a comment for me. I really would do appreciate that and hope that makes it more fun. Also, I wanted to uh, mention that um, if you would please consider subscribing if you haven't already. I did make it a little bit easier for those who are watching on a television. Like I used to, I always like to watch my videos like that. Uh, but at, there's an end screen that you'll be able to just navigate up to and click on the subscribe button and it'll be that simple for you. Um, so yeah, if, if there's, if you make that little bit of an effort, it, you know, it, that's what all it would cost for you. But for me, it would be, um, a tremendous boost. Um, so also I want to add that your likes and your comments really help me to get better and better and better at this. And I love each and every one of them. I will never take them for granted. Um, so yeah, thanks again for all you do. This will be all for now. I cannot wait to come see you again next time. Uh, so uh, have a beautiful, beautiful new moon period coming up, a new month. Um, thank you for all that you do. Um, I really appreciate you, Gemini. Love and light.